What would you want for the bag? Emily's in there. It's as good as stealing. What are they talking about? What on earth in this video is making people react like this? Hello and welcome to the video. Now, you'll have already seen from the title what this is about. I have been accused of being dishonest, of lying, of stealing, blatantly stealing from somebody at the car boot sale. And to say I'm, I'm stunned by this is an understatement. So I put a video out recently where we went to a car boot sale and I bought a bag of books from a lady. I didn't look at the comments. I've been really busy recently. I put a lot of content out recently and I've been super busy with other stuff. So I've really been not on top of reading comments. So I hadn't seen what was going on on that video until a couple of days ago when I went back and I had a look and I saw there's a couple of threads on there where people are saying that, yeah, what I just said, that I, I'm being dishonest and lying and, and ripping this lady off. And one person going as far to say it's, it's basically stealing. Now, you may say you don't have to defend yourself. You know, if you did nothing wrong, you don't need to do anything. It's just it's just it's the Internet. But this is different. I get trolled a lot. People say a lot of things about me and it just it, it's like water off a duck's back. It's part of being on the Internet. But this is regular viewers, people who've watched for years, some unsubscribing because of my despicable behaviour. I read it and I was like, what are they talking about? What on earth in this video is making people react like this? It blew my mind. So yes, I don't need to defend myself, but this is my character. This is people saying, saying things about me that I, I feel I would like to defend. I would like to get my point of view across. So I'm going to. So first, I'm going to read a bunch of the com comments so you can see what people are saying, what their point of view is, what the problem is here. I'll read a bunch of the comments. There's loads on there. I haven't deleted anything. It's all still there. You can go and read it yourself. We'll read a bunch of those. Then I'm going to put the clip in. We will watch that. And then I, I will explain exactly what I'm doing, exactly what I'm thinking. And then at the end, we will wrap this up and then you can decide for yourself. Right, we'll start here because I think this kind of sums up the crux of the issue. Um, so Space Ace 4565 says roughly 10 was a reasonable answer. It's up to the seller to know what they have and how much they want for it. The seller seemed happy enough to get rid. And then Charlie B377 replies, the point is she asked and the answer wasn't honest even though Nick had obviously counted them. We'll get onto that point in a bit. It's as good as stealing. And then Jane Bass uh, says, I'm unsubscribing too. Not nice to see or support. Judith Pride says, ouch, there's about 10, in quotes, come off it. The exchange for the Haynes manuals was unfair at best and dishonest at worst. Taking advantage of a busy seller is an uncomfortable watch. And the fact you can't see that and didn't edit that out reflects poorly. I've unsubscribed. So this is the main thread. Um, started with a comment from Charlie B again. Roughly 10 was a little bit unfair. There were never going to be less than 10. You must have known there were more than 10. She wanted a pound each. You led her to believe there were 10 when actually there were 12. So she was down two pounds before you started. Not entirely honest. No hate intended, but it just didn't sit right with me. Being upfront and honest goes a long way. After I've read the comments, as I said, I'm going to show you the clip and I'll explain what was going on. Let's read some of the replies. Uh, haggled over one pound too, lol. Yes, didn't sit well with me at all. Very dishonest. It was very disappointing to see, so have unsubscribed. 
Dragon reseller down here. Very sneaky, that lie about how many in there. Then audacity to ask for a quid off. Saw enough, switched off after that. There was some comments that didn't agree with the, the tone of this thread. Darren Mallet there, for example. I'm sure this is a genuine mistake. I've been following Nick and Andrea for years and have never seen them dupe anyone before. Lean WCTV1 replies, I agree. Look, I love Nick's videos and think they run a good reselling business, but it's clear that he knew exactly how many books there were and still he knocked the lady down a pound. Come on, Nick, play nice. It was out of order. Anyway, enough said, move on. Morris Minicat says, I was told many years ago that nice people don't succeed in business. None of us know, really know, Nick and Andrea or anyone else on YouTube. For a lot of resellers, it's a matter of getting what they can for as little as they can, and that's what they do. It was morally wrong what they did, but it will soon be forgotten and they will, they will be forgiven. I'll read a couple more because I think these point to the crux of what people's issue is, and it's about the number of books. Helen MacDonald says, more than 10 books, counted at least 12, don't cheat. And she gave you a good price at eight, then you push for seven. Not very kind when you knew exactly what was in the bag. Nana Bear says, need to go back to school and learn to add up. There were more than 10. Then have the audacity to haggle down to seven. Not being nasty, but you wouldn't like it. And I hope the lady that sold them doesn't watch the channel, as it's never nice being cheated. At first I thought benefit of the doubt, but then watching again, you knew full well how many you had. We could go on and on. There's loads and loads of comments on there. I don't tend to delete comments unless they're offensive. We have filters on the channel as well. So if people use offensive language, they get automatically filtered out. So there may be some that have disappeared if, if people were being explicit. Um, but all of the comments are still there. I will link the video at the end so you, so you can go and read the whole thread, the whole thing. But you get the idea. So what we'll do now is I'll put the clip in in case you haven't even seen the video. I'll show the, the transaction taking place and I will interject to explain exactly what's going on. A load of pains here as well. How much are you doing the books down here? Pound each. Pound each. Okay, lovely. So that's us coming across the stall and I noticed the Haynes manuals and had a quick look. Now, I've bought and sold Haynes manuals many times over the years and for me, they tend to be slow and hardly worth bothering with. I wasn't particularly excited by the Haynes manuals. Um, the transit van one I saw at the beginning, I thought maybe I'll be interested in that. Then I saw in the bag there was an official Ford workshop manual. I've bought and sold that sort of stuff before. That has some value. Those do well for me. So I thought, oh, OK, I'm interested. I asked the price and she's asking a pound a book. That's when I look through and see if there's any more official manufacturers workshop manuals because I'm not bothered about the Haynes ones. The one on top, actually, that I think I'd slide down the side was wet and mouldy and disgusting. So I kind of discounted that one straight away. That's in the bin um, currently. Well, in the recycling, I should say. So I've now established she wants a pound a book and I know I'm interested in at least the official Ford ones that I can see there. So I'm gonna go through and see what else I can find. Let's carry on watching. So I've now rummaged through the bag. I've found two official manufacturers workshop manuals that are a pound. Yes, I'm all over that. 
there was uh, a motorbike Haynes manual, uh, a Bantam one, I think it was, um, that I'm, I'm thinking I'll go on. Possibly the Triumph. Uh, there's, there was a small little, more of a pamphlet thing, a Triumph one, had some age to it. Kind of keen on that. Maybe the Transit van. There's really three or four that I'm keen on at a pound. I'm thinking, okay, not fussed about the Haynes manuals. As I said before, they're so slow for me, most are not worth bothering with. And at this point I thought, okay, so I'm gonna spend three or four quid. Uh, I will just see if she's got a price in her head for the whole bag. If the whole bag price is reasonable, I'll just buy that. That's what's going on in my head. Let's carry on with the clip. What would you want for the bag? How many's in there? I think there's roughly 10. Is it eight pounds? Uh, I might have to go straight back to the car and talk more. Yeah. Would you go seven and I'll take that? Okay, right. Yeah, let's do that then. So I shove the books back in the bag, hold the bag up and just see if she's got a thought in her mind. Maybe she's already thought if someone offers me such and such, uh, um, I'll, I'll let it go for whatever. I'm thinking I'm spending three or four quid. If the price for the bag is not much more, I'll, I'll just grab it and I'll see what I can do with the Haynes manuals. I've, I've seen the condition. I'm not that impressed. Anyway, so she comes straight back with how many are there? I haven't counted the books. I'm not counting anything. I'm looking through to see if there's see what in there I actually want to buy. I've got in my head there's three or four I want. And then, um, so I throw out, I think there's roughly 10. And considering apparently there's, there was 12, people have been back and watched it and counted them. So there's, let's say there's 12 in the bag. So my, there's about 10. I'm quite... I think I was quite accurate considering I wasn't counting the books. This seems to be the crux of it. I think people watching are seeing me going one, two, blah, blah, blah. And then I throw out a number which I know is wrong. That's absolutely not what's going on here. I'm thinking I'm keen on a few. If I can get the bag cheap, I'll just take the lot and, and see what else is in there, see what I can do with them. And that's what happened. So she threw out eight pounds. The na uh, Hands up, I probably should have just gone, yeah, eight quid, fine. The natural haggle boot sale mentality kicked in and I shaved another pound off. Hands up, I haggle, I do it all the time. But as for, I categorically counted them and on purpose stitched her up by saying there was about 10. No, absolutely not. So that's what happened. She she was lovely, we chatted. What you don't see as well in the video is, we chatted with the lady, we also bought a whole tray of sewing gear off her. There was another um, box of books, all Dilly Court ones, over here. These came from the same lady. And ironically, um, she said the same thing. How many's in the tray? And Andrea stood there and actually counted them all. There were 35, I think, and we agreed on £10 on those. Um, so there you go. That's the story. That's what's going on inside my head. And if after that you still think that I am a rip-off merchant, that I was stealing this woman's books by doing whatever, mind games or whatever, then... That's fine. Everyone, everyone can have their own opinion. But but that's that was my thought process. And the price was right on me to take the whole bag, the ones I particularly wanted and the other Haynes ones. The, the one that was wet and mouldy came home with us as well. There you go. Um, please let me know what you think below. Um, I will share the original video up here if you want to go back and have a look at the comments and rewatch the whole video. Please do. Here it is. Until next time, take care. Thanks for watching. I'll see you soon.